Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today I'm very excited to share with you this 2020 BMW 330i xDrive. This 330i is currently showing just over 47,000 original miles, and if you'd like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of this 330, as well as showing you some of the most interesting features. So starting here on the exterior, you'll find it finished in this brilliant white paint scheme. It looks fantastic and I love all the subtle contrasts and all of the nice options like these beautiful wheels. As you can see, when I get close to the vehicle, I don't know if you noticed, the headlights come on, the vehicle unlocks by itself, I didn't touch the key at all, and you'll find when I back away from the vehicle, as if I'm walking away, it locks itself just the same. Uh, so I love to see that. Having these proximity keys in their newer models is a great thing to see again. I approach the vehicle, and it unlocks itself nice and easy uh, for your convenience. But as usual, I'll take you really close to the panel, so as to look for any dings, dents, scratching, or irregularities in the way the light reflects off the paint. And you'll see as we make our way here to the rear, the driver's side looks absolutely phenomenal. And we'll make our way to the front fascia now. You can see here the hood is in great condition as well. Beautiful gloss on the paint. Minimal imperfections to be found. Looking here at the front fascia, you'll see the headlights showing no signs of discoloration, scratching, or oxidation. They both look great. And I absolutely love the styling on the front end of the 3 Series here. I think it looks great. You can see it has those active grills where you have those slats that will open or close depending on various factors and various situations. I know my tech told me there in the shop that one of the functions of these grills is when the vehicle's warming up, it's going to warm up faster with these grills sealed off and it's going to allow you, you know, in cabin heat much faster. And I'm sure there's also some aerodynamic component as well with the active grills. Looking at the lower portion as well, those black accents look great and they present beautifully. Same goes for the chrome around that updated styling kidney grill. One other thing to note is that there are actual active vents here on the side. You can see right through. A lot of manufacturers nowadays are just putting fake vents for the sake of styling, but BMW has a purpose in mind. And now we'll go really close yet again here on the passenger side. Making our way back, no, sen no sense of any, you know, dings, dents, scuffs. It all looks great here on this side. Now at the rear, we have the upgraded tail end. I'm, I apologize for the vehicle unlocking and locking. I keep stepping away and then closer to the vehicle. You can see the new taillight styling is really, really nice. Very clean look, and I love the way that these body lines subtly accent the taillights all the way to the rear of the vehicle. You can see your X-Drive badge here, of course, describing the all-wheel drive system, the BMW roundel in the center, and the 330i badge here on the right. The outer badge is finished in chrome, give a nice little contrast here at the back, and they play beautifully with those dual chrome exhaust tips. Now on the rear of the vehicle, we also have a small ding just there below the parking sensor, as you can see but no paint work done, it all looks very nice. And otherwise here in the back, it presents very well. Lastly, here on the roof, we do have that beautiful and large sunroof. But next up, let's make our way to the interior. Of course, no need for me to unlock the vehicle as the vehicle's already done so. And make your way inside, we get a look at BMW's newer styling uh, language here on the interior. It looks fantastic. As we can see, the driver's seat presents beautifully. You can see the stitching on this outer bolster here and on the lower portion look great. Same goes for the passenger seat and the center console armrest just there. So we'll make our way inside and waste no time in firing up the BMW's powertrain using the start stop button just there. As you can see, fires up without any hesitation. We'll see those lights clear out of the dash. Just reminding me to put my seatbelt on. 
But as we take a quick tour of the interior, we'll start here on the dashboard. You can see it's all in great shape, no sun fade or scuffs or marks from any kind of phone mounts or anything a previous owner might have used. It all looks great. Looking just ahead of me, the new BMW steering wheel. I love the way it looks. It feels great in the hand. You can see all of the controls on the steering wheel present very nicely. You also have these paddle shifters behind the wheel that have a great click as you use them. They have a great feel. And just in the center, we have that heated steering wheel button. You can see you can turn it on and off using that switch and it fires up very quickly. It's already starting to get warm. And the nice big BMW emblem right in the center. The new gauges, I love how they've blended those physical chrome rings with a digital display and digital needles. I think it's a really cool look. The needles may not even be digital, actually, now that I look at it. You can almost see behind them that they have a physical component to them, but it is hidden very well behind that screen. Uh, it's a really cool gauge cluster, and it has a nice blend of retro and modern feel. Uh, the first time I saw a display like this was in the Modern 6 series. Looking here across the dashboard, we have the gorgeous infotainment display. I can slot the vehicle into reverse to reveal that nice high definition camera and the parking sensor there on the left. Then I'll bring it back to the main menu. Looking here across the center console, all or sorry, the center of the dash, it all looks great. We have this gorgeous silver trim that plays beautifully off of that textured silver trim on the center and that carries across here to the side. Door panels share some more of that silver trim, and of course you will have noticed the beautiful interior ambient lighting accents throughout the dashboard and the doors. And these are all adjustable. You can change the color to a, a large variety of different colors, and they all look beautiful. Looking here at your climate and seating controls, you can see all the switches are in nice shape. You do have the heated seating control there on the outside for either seat, and the center vents just there. Looking a bit lower, you have BMW's classically simple volume and preset control. But a nice thing is these presets don't have to control a radio station. You can set the preset to, let's say, change the interior lighting color or uh, open up the navigation to a certain destination. So it's really nice that BMW opened up the presets not only to be a radio station set, but also control various aspects of the vehicle. And also, as I bring my finger close to those controls, you can see I can highlight before selecting what each of these presets will control. So it's really nice to see that instead of having to uh, find your way based on pushing the buttons. Anyway, moving on from there, here in the center console, we have a new beautiful design here. We can see that gorgeous textured silver trim that we saw up here, all looking very nice. And with one push, this door will fall away revealing your wireless phone charger and some cup holders and power outlets. That's all in great condition. And as you can see, the door works exactly as you would hope. Now your general center console controller here. The new gear selector, I think, is gorgeous. It has this nice transparent portion at the top. And the first thing I noticed getting in this car was how nice it feels to use the controller here. It has a beautiful, soft um, you know, engagement as you select it into drive, reverse, etc., it all feels very, very high quality and being something you use all the time, of course, we love to see uh, the attention to detail there. Your iDrive controller, which controls your infotainment, works perfectly, and this is also a functioning touch screen here in the center. You also have your drive mode selector. You can select, of course, sport. Oh, sorry, it's here in the gauge cluster is reflected. As you can see, Eco Pro, Comfort, sport and then sport individual by double tapping the sport button and you do see some subtle changes in the gauge cluster with that selection here in the center console you do have plenty of storage as well as some power outlets available to you and just above my head the beautiful sunroof which can be operated with this switch here as we can see one touch operation opens it very smooth no issues there and same goes for closing it then one more touch forward will also close the blind. I'd like to show you all of these functions just because sometimes we've seen these systems have problems in cars and we'd like to show you that it all functions beautifully. But next up, let's take a look under the hood at what powers the 2020 330i. I'll meet you there.
All right, so one thing I love about these newer BMWs is no need to fumble around and feel for a latch under that BMW emblem. All I have to do is pull that lever on the interior two times to confirm I want it open and then gently lift, revealing the engine bay. Taking a look all around the engine bay, it's incredibly clean on the 330. All of the white painted portions present beautifully. We can see the black plastic on all of the you know, the engine, the air boxes, the different reservoirs, they all present very nice as well. Now this is BMW's two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. A great way to tell how many cylinders is in your BMW just by looking under the hood is how many slats they include there on that portion of the engine cover. As we can see four here and in something like the M4 competition we see just there, you'd see six in a similar layout. Now this is a fantastic engine. I have been very impressed while driving this vehicle. This car is truly one of the most fun BMWs or cars in general at this price point. This engine produces 255 horsepower, which is plenty for a car like this, especially when making such a, tor such a great torque figure uh, low in the RPM range, pardon me. And also when paired to the ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, which is widely considered the best on the market, the power is punchy and exciting and really doesn't leave you wanting for any more. However, I have heard that this engine is very tunable, uh, so BMW enthusiasts can extract a bit more power out if they feel so inclined, but if not, it's still an excellent, excellent option. But also, being the two liter four cylinder, you're still gonna see 26 miles per gallon in the city and around 36 on the highway. So it's very efficient, very usable on a daily basis, sounds great, drives great, everything you'd expect out of a BMW. They wouldn't give you anything less. Now I have not adjusted the front driver's seat from where I would usually drive the car being about six foot four and I'll now sit in behind myself but not before we take a look here at the quality of these rear seats. They're in excellent condition. Some might say perfect condition. And now I'll hop in the vehicle sitting behind myself where I will say I have a bit more legroom than I expected. You can see, thanks to that nice little indent in the rear of the seat, I can sit comfortably. I am a little tight on headroom, but I can still sit up comfortably for a long drive without any problems. And we get a beautiful view of the front of the cabin. Now looking here, we also have our climate controls for our third zone. We also have two charging outlets and then a general 12 volt outlet there next to them. We also have reading lights and again, very, very spacious and comfortable rear seats. And next, next up, we'll make our way to the trunk. For one touch on that latch, we'll open up the trunk, no problems, and reveals a very spacious trunk. You can see we have two sets of carpets and mats for the car. So we have the original carpeting here and the all-weather mats branded BMW there on the side. All very, very nice. And again, very spacious trunk and one touch operation there is gonna drop down the trunk, it's gonna latch into place without any issues. I highly suggest if you haven't had the opportunity that you take one of these 330i's for a drive. Uh, I found it super impressive and recently while watching a review of the BMW M340i, the Audi S4 and the C43 AMG Mercedes, at the end they said, which car would you take home? And they looked at each other and they said, the 330i, because it just gets you that much more for the money and it's such a great balance and we really hope you check this one out. But if you have any further questions, please reference the listing at alphacars.com where you'll find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.